It starts as a golden bear, but where you finish, that's untold. Because when the raw materials are put into the right hands, that's when you strike gold. Go to www.kutztown.edu slash roar to get started. Any views or opinions expressed on KUR are not necessarily those of Kutztown University. Kutztown University Student Government, Kutztown University Student Services Incorporated, KUR staff and management or other affiliated organizations. Welcome to Emmy Knows, interviewing people of interest to the KU campus community. And now, your host of Emmy Knows, Emmeline. You're listening to the radio voice of Midstown University, KUR. This is Emmy Knows, a weekly get to know you featuring the people who help make KU great. And in the studio with me today is Ellie Melanson, a sports management major and president of KU's equestrian team. Hi, Ellie. Hello. Thank you so much for being here for my first show of 2020. Oh, I'm so happy and excited to be here. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that you like found us here in like the depths of the MSU. I didn't even know this part of the MSU existed, to be honest. I mean, that's fine. I feel like most people are not aware. And then it's like, okay, so go this way, go this way, go under a bridge, over a tunnel, like... <laughs> Through the rainbow. Here you are, yes. But I'm so excited to talk to you about the equestrian team, because I honestly didn't know Kutztown had an equestrian team. Not many people do. Okay. So when I was... I've been riding horses since I was nine. Wow, okay. So when I was applying to colleges, the main thing that I wanted to do was continue riding in college, mm-hmm. so... I obviously knew, but I have people who are on the team now that were like, yeah, we had no idea you existed until we went to like the involvement fair Mm -hmm. or the kickoff carnival. Mm -hmm. And I've had professors in class literally like see my backpack or like any type of apparel I'm wearing Mm -hmm. in the middle of class and go, wait, we have an equestrian team? (laughs) And I'm like, yes. (laughs) So can you explain exactly what an equestrian team is? So equestrian is another word for horseback rider. Anyone who rides horses. Um, our team has showing and non-showing members. So showing members compete in about 10 shows the entire year against different schools in the area. So like mm-hmm. our English team, which is when I describe English, I think like jumping, like that's okay. the best way to describe that. Mm-hmm. And like Western, I tell people to think cowboys. Okay. Um, so our English team competes against schools like Scranton, Bloomsburg, uh alvernia Mm -hmm. so like a lot of schools in this area we have rutgers too which is kind of bizarre because they're in jersey but like then everyone (laughs) else is here um our western team they can be against schools like penn state delval udell so a little more spread out but like still kind of in pa Mm -hmm. general area for the most part but yeah our english barn is two-bit farm in Boyertown, PA, and then our Western Barn is Blanket of Stars Farm in Pottstown, PA. Mm -hmm. So we, all showing members are required to listen each week for a show. We're a relatively small team, so we're really trying to encourage people to join because it's a lot of fun. Even Mm -hmm. if you've never, our Western captain never rode a horse before, she joined the team. So we always encourage people, we're like, you can have no experience, but like still be on the team. Sure. So, Yeah. (laughs) I mean, that's awesome. So you were saying, like, English, you think jumping, Western, you think cowboys. Like, do people dress up? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so um, mainly for English, you have to wear all black for the most part. Okay. Like, black helmet, black boots, black, black gloves. Jackets, I my jacket's navy, but normally they're, like, black, navy, or gray. You never mm-hmm. see, like, you rarely see, like, burgundy or, like, a hunter green. It's mainly kind of just those plain colors western you get to wear the chaps and the cowboy boots and the big flashy belts and the cowboy hats so they're definitely like very like each western english like they have their like definitive style Mm -hmm. so it's not like they overlap at all it's like you can spot an english rider from western rider like like that sure so you said that um your western captain had never ridden a horse so you don't have to have experience to join the club nope no experience whatsoever okay and what would you say like if you were telling somebody why they should join what why it's a good it's definitely growing up you learn a lot like i don't want to say that like me growing up it's like hard labor it's just you become more responsible a lot quicker Mm -hmm. because horses are not easy animals to take care of they're not like cats that just go in a litter box like it's not it teaches you responsibility it's a lot of fun besides Mm -hmm. from 
the whole horse aspect of it, we always try to have like potluck dinners or last year we went to an escape room, which was Ooh. a ton of fun. Mm-hmm. And like the team covers all of that. Okay. So it's not like you're ever putting out of pocket for things mm-hmm. unless it comes to lessons. But any team activities, it's like, don't worry about it. We got it. Like, cause we want to have fun as a team. We don't mm-hmm. want to seem so like uptight all the time sure so we like to especially when the show season's over we always do something because we can kind of just let go and relax mm-hmm. and be like ah oh, it's finally done with yeah of course so you were talking about um competitions and like a season and stuff so how do you sort of go about preparing for competitions especially if you don't have experience coming into the club so we for me since i've been riding for so long mm-hmm. i have no problem going to every single show but we make sure riders feel ready okay like if there's a show coming like if it's the first show you've never ridden before we're like hey if you want to go you can Mm -hmm. but like obviously if you're not if you don't feel comfortable we're not gonna be like oh sorry you have to go anyways yeah like we're not gonna push you to do it we just wait until you're ready and you come to us and say hey i want to do this and Mm -hmm. we are just so support like so supportive of it we Mm -hmm. love watching new people go in And, like, yeah, like, we have a new girl, Katie, who her first show ever riding, showing in general and riding in, I just say, she got first place at her first show. Wow. So it's, and she was so happy. Mm -hmm. And obviously we were so happy for her because it's like, oh, my God, like, this is her first show. She Mm -hmm. got first place. Like, we're very supportive of each other. That's so cool. So how does a... So you're saying, like, you know, she she got first place. Is that between, like, so many horses and people? Uh, how do you pick your horses? Like, tell me all the nitty-gritty. I, I really oh want to know about this. Like. <laughs> so we ride through IHSA, which is the Intercollegiate Horse Show Association. And other schools provide horses. Mm-hmm. So when we get to a show, we basically watch people warm up. People who we aren't, com- who we aren't competing against warm up the horses. Mm-hmm. We watch them they call a horse draw so we use a draw system for picking the horses that we ride because this is how they make it fair Mm -hmm. so you're being judged as a rider and you're riding horses you typically don't know sometimes you get lucky and you'll pick the same horse and the same that happened to me last semester I got the same horse at like three different shows and I was like this is awesome Mm -hmm. so you pick a number and it's like I got number three they'll look at a sheet of paper be like all right you're riding halo so then you go but get halo you get on and mm-hmm. you just go right into the ring okay. so y- watching the horse warm up or watching other riders ride the horse helps you get a picture in your mind of how it should go for you and like even talking to the other riders be like hey like how were they they'll be like oh yep just they were a little fast so try to sit up tall whoa a little so but that's how they make it fair okay so picking the whole draw system but like i said you can get lucky or mm-hmm. You can be me and have one semester where you got the worst draws, and you just gotta you gotta go with it. Unfortunately. Mm-hmm. So, do you uh, compete every semester, or is it just sort of like a fall only competition or spring only? So we do compete every semester. The fall has more shows because they're outside, mm-hmm. and it's just the bigger venue altogether. If the shows are outside, it's a lot easier. In the spring, we only have about three to four shows because they're normally indoors because of the weather, and Mm -hmm. that kind of restricts the space that we have. Sure. So, plus the weather in the fall is always a lot nicer than Mm -hmm. the spring. But, yeah, we actually, our Western team has, we're going to Penn State this weekend. Amazing. So, I'm making my Western debut. Oh, yes. I was (laughs) going to ask you, like, are you, do you lean towards one or the other? Do you do both? So, I'm the English captain as well. So, I've been writing English since I was nine and mm-hmm. then this past year I was like you know what I think I'll try Wester and like it seems our coach is phenomenal she's so nice and laid back mm-hmm. so I was like you know what I think I'll go for it and then towards the end of last semester I was getting cold feet because like I'd never really written Western before like it's so much different mm-hmm. than English that I was like I don't know if I should do this like when we get back to school I only have three weeks to take lessons like freaking myself out and our Western captain was like no mm-hmm. you're doing it and I was like all right like, peer pressure I was like because oh, it's a lot of fun, but mm-hmm. I'm definitely very nervous because it's just, it is much different than English, but Sorry. just got to get through two shows and hopefully stay on, mm-hmm. knock on wood. So so what do you, uh, what will you be doing this weekend then as a I Western rider? I will just be doing, uh, the class that I'm in is, so all the classes are numbers. Sure. I'm in 12B. Okay. So it's a advanced walk, Ooh. jog, lope. 
Okay. Which is the English, which is the Western term of walk, trot, canner. Okay. So that's what I'll be doing. How exciting. Oh, it's very nerve wracking. <laughs> <laughs> and so you said um, you have like a coach. How does the coaching that happens at the barns that are near Kutztown? Yeah. And then the coaches will also travel to our shows. Uh, our Western coach. So we just got a new English coach as of this past year. Mm-hmm. Her name is Molly. She's a com- she's a complete sweetheart. Our Western coach Trish has been our coach for ten years. So at the shows, she's got a little more knowledge of like all the other horses and like really knows all the other coaches in the region. Mm-hmm. So I'll definitely feel comfortable having her there sure. to kind of be like, I know this horse, like, you'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about it. And I'm going to be, like, hyperventilating a little She'll bit. She'll be like, actually, I know this horse. It's <laughs> terrible. Uh. I'm going to be like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, you said besides, uh, obviously, horses, you did an escape room with the club. You did other sort of bonding exercises. And I know that you're sort of talking, you're doing a Valentine's Day fundraiser. What can you tell me about that? So our Valentine's Day fundraiser will be taking place on February 10th from one to three in the MSU or table A, wherever that is. I have no idea where that is. Okay. But we will be giving, basically at the fundraiser, people will be ordering, like we have a combination of, we're doing carnations. So you mm-hmm. can get one to three carnations and then pick if you want to do like a full size candy bar, some cookies mm-hmm. or like a small bag of Hershey Kisses. And you can like mix and match if you want to do like three flowers and then like a full-size candy bar or two flowers and then like some cookies and a bag of Hershey Kisses so you Mm -hmm. can definitely mix and match with those. Sure. Um, We're accepting Venmo or cash and actually right now if you go on the Kutztown Equestrian Instagram Mm -hmm. if you click the link in our bio you can actually already pre-order so like let's say you have class at like one and two on Mondays but like you know you want to get something you Mm -hmm. can already go on our Instagram and click the link and pre-order what you want to do. And what is your Instagram handle? Uh, it is K-U-E-Q-U team, I believe. But if you just type in Kutztown Equestrian, we should come up. Okay, perfect. And that is this coming Monday the 10th? Yes. Awesome. So switching gears from horses, let's talk about school. Oh, because, boy. You know, school. Uh, so from what I understand, you're a senior sports management ma- major. Is that correct? Yes. Awesome. So how did you, you know, you said you rode horses, you wanted to go to a school with horse horse opportunities, uh, but how did you sort of choose your major? So I actually changed my major three times. <laughs> I was one of those college students. Sure. Um, I went into... I came into Kutztown as a criminal justice major okay. and after because I once worked for the FBI and then nice. after my first like the end of freshman year I was kind of like eh, like I don't I don't really know anymore mm-hmm. so then I went to business because business is about as generic business, as it can yeah. get <laughs> and after that first semester sophomore year I was like I have no idea what I want to do with my life mm-hmm. so then I went to undecided took an intro to sports management class because I grew up playing soccer volleyball basketball Mm -hmm. track so like I had a very big background in sports and I really liked it so it's the I clicked with the class Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it so then I declared my major at the end of my sophomore year finally (laughs) and yeah I over Christmas break the last two and a half ish weeks I was doing like a mini internship at Boston University in their athletic Ooh, department. That's so very cool. Yeah. And what did that sort of, what did you do there? I did game day operations. Okay. So I would help set up, break down anything for the game. Um, I mainly did basketball and ice hockey. But during the basketball games, if the goal of that was to have to do nothing during the game, because okay. that's how you knew everything was going the way it was supposed to. So sure. if there was something to do, it was kind of like, okay, what's wrong? Mm-hmm. But during the ice hockey games, I actually got to work the replay camera, which was Ooh. so much fun. That I loved doing the cool. replay. It was a little stressful because mm-hmm. it was giving us some problems during one of the games. But mm-hmm. no, I definitely like that was my favorite part for sure. So um, what? You're a senior. You're graduating this semester? or Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. So are you hoping to go into game day operations or... Um, broadening horizons. I'm hoping (laughs) to do um, like event and facility, which like it does include um, game day, having to go to games and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I'm more interested in like the managerial aspect of sports. So I'm definitely I'm hoping to get another internship at BU this summer and 
my family wants to migrate back up to that area. Oh, wow. okay. So my dad's from there. Nice. So but I definitely that's what what I'm hoping to do. Mm-hmm. And will crossed. you will you continue on with your horses? I plan to. Okay. I think I might take a little break while I try to figure things out, but mm-hmm. um I already know I want to ride alumni somewhere up in that area, but okay. I'm not going to jump right into it. I got to sure, get sure. figure things out before I do that stuff. You're not going to just like go buy a farm and <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, with the $4 I have in my bank yeah, account. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I know um, besides the equestrian team and, you know, school, you're also the president of the Recreation and Sport Club Council. So can you speak a little bit about that role? So I honestly... It's pretty laid back, which is nice. We have RSCC meetings once a month. I have three office hours a week. So at those office hours, I kind of just make sure clubs are doing what they're supposed to. Mm -hmm. So like they, especially so they don't get in trouble, but like God forbid, so we don't get in trouble either. Mm -hmm. It's pretty laid back. Normally president positions are laid back because you kind of just oversee everything. Sure. But yeah, I really just make sure clubs are getting to their travel forms, doing their activity reports, making sure they have... A certain number of members are supposed to have, how mm-hmm. many people they have CPR certified, kind of just keep tabs on everything and be like, sure. if you're not doing it, do it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, so is that sort of like the council that oversees like the equestrian team or is that more just like intramural stuff? It's oversees all the clubs. Okay. So since obviously since the equestrian team is a club, like it oversees us as well, but also clubs like lacrosse or the men's soccer club mm-hmm. or like bass fishing, it oversees like all those different clubs as well. I did not know there was a bass fishing club. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> There's like a lot of clubs that people have no idea that exist. That's very wild, but also very, very cool. So are you involved with any other activities around campus? Honestly, no. Okay. The equestrian team takes up a lot of time for me mm-hmm. and I've never, I've always struggled in school. So mm-hmm. I kind of try to keep things to like the bare minimum but like being involved but like involved enough where I can handle it sure because I know if I overwork myself it's just going to be a recipe for Mm -hmm. disaster that actually ties into my next question which is with all of your extracurricular activity like how do you balance your schoolwork with your practices your meetings your competitions etc so I meet every week with the team every Thursday because we have we meet bi-weekly as a team but Mm -hmm. then and then bi-weekly as a board. So sure. technically, I'm meeting weekly. Okay. But, like, the team meets bi-weekly. The board meets technically weekly because we have to go to team meetings as well. Mm-hmm. But um, I try to schedule my lessons after I'm done classes because there was one time I scheduled them before. And, like, I'd always be just getting into class, mm-hmm. like, right before it started, smelling like the horse girl. <laughs> and, like, so I was like, okay, let's just wait till I'm done classes so then I can kind of just relax a little. Mm-hmm. So I always try to make sure that any work I have do have to do like that night is done before. Sure. Because our barns are about 35 to 45 minutes from campus. Mm-hmm. So they're a little bit of a hike. So I always try to make sure I have everything done. So in case I am getting back at like 7 o'clock at night, I'm not staying up doing homework. Mm-hmm. I can kind of just shower and chill. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. So... Uh, It's week three of the semester this week, and I always ask my guests for their top tips for studying, living life as a college student, so as a senior who is involved on campus, (laughs) senior status. Uh, So what is a top tip that you'd like to share with our audience? A top tip for school-wise is just uh, don't procrastinate. I know it's so hard to just, like, it's so easy to just wait and put everything off to the last second, but being able to just get it done, or at least starting it, so Mm -hmm. by the time, like, that we get do rolls around you can get it done like a few days it's just it's such a nice relief mm-hmm. when it's done you can submit it your professor sees you submitted it <laughs> early instead of at like eleven fifty six yeah. sunday night uh-huh so definitely like, do your best not to procrastinate again i know it's easier said than done mm-hmm. but being able to just take those baby steps towards that it really it's a huge weight off your shoulders um as a senior Uh, (laughs) I'm just trying to, you know, make the most out of my second semester. I'm just trying to spend more time with my roommates, trying to go out more Mm -hmm. and just do what I can to really like graduation is going to be here before we know it. So I'm doing my best to just make the most of the time I got left here. That's awesome. Thank you again so much. And if people want to get in touch with you, how can they do that? So you can email the Kutztown Equestrian Team. Our email is equestrian at kutztown.edu you can message our instagram i keep tabs on the instagram page so those two ways are definitely 
the best way of getting a hold of us since I check those about the email check about two to three times a week the mm-hmm. uh Instagram I have it on my phone so like I'll always see if someone's messaging us but sure. those are definitely the best two ways to get in touch with us awesome thank you so much and thank you to everyone for listening to Emmy Knows I'm your host Emmeline Nolan and in the studio with me today is Ellie Melanson I'll be back with you on KUR soon with more of the people who help make KU great